Hello, hello. Come on, don't make me have to yell. Hello, hello. I mean, we can still say like mellow. It's, you know, centering prayer time. Welcome, everyone. I'm so excited that you guys are all here. My name is Gabby. I'll be leading you all in centering prayer today. Uh, and I had, I mean, I'm sure I've thought of this before, but I just had this like overwhelming realization today as I was, you know, getting ready to come up here. And I started to remember, we always express that God is love, unconditional love. And then I had this overwhelming thought of, well, what if you've never experienced unconditional love? What, what if you don't even know what that feels like? Then it's hard for you to relate with a God that you haven't experienced yet or know that you have experienced it, right? So this thought came to me and I started to realize, I think I have to share with them what unconditional love means because God's love, you don't have to earn it right? God's love is inherently yours. You don't have to be anyone other than who you are. God doesn't love you any less for anything that you've done or haven't done in the past. God's love is something beyond the mind. God's love is so big and so grand. It lives within you. But remember, God is not of the flesh. He lives in us, but he is so big and his love is so powerful that it doesn't miss. His love doesn't miss one person. His love covers all of us, all that is here in this world and beyond. Uh, and I just really wanted to share that with you today, that if you have not personally experienced unconditional love, I want you today to tap into the intuition, the knowing within you. That's where God's love lives, not in the mind because we can't rationalize it, right? If I think about myself, am I always worthy of the most blessed love? My mind may say no, but my heart knows that I do deserve his love. Amen. So let's take a moment and let's close our eyes. And I really want us to receive today. So let's have our palms facing up and we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna begin to take a nice deep breath. So let's slowly begin by inhaling nice and big. You wanna fill up your belly and then vocal. Again, we wanna slowly inhale nice and big, fill up the belly, then exhale. Again, we're inhaling that belly. We're expanding the chest, letting the shoulders go back. And then vocal. As you continue your breathing at your own pace, I want you to imagine that with each inhale, you're creating space within yourself. You're opening yourself up to really receive and experience all of God's love. And as we exhale, we're sinking deeper within that love. We're going deeper within trusting that we can experience his love knowing that we are worthy of this love at all times no matter what as we go deeper within ourselves we start to let go of all that we experienced before we arrived let go of the past we're not focusing on what's to come Let's honor ourselves and the God within us so much that all we're focused on is the very breath that we are blessed with in this very moment. Begin to observe this breath. Observe as you inhale and observe as you exhale. Really allow the mind and the body to relax. You work so hard, you do so much. Let God do for you in this moment. Let God enter into your being, into your soul. Let him speak to you. Let him fill you with his love. But remember that God wants to be invited into your home. So release and surrender. Let go of all your limiting beliefs. Let go of all the shame, the regret, and the fear. God doesn't live in that energy. God lives in the energy and frequency of love. So invite love into your being. Invite love deep within yourself and start to feel 
what it feels like to be filled with God's love. Not a love that a human can give you, but a love that the greatest, most divine energy on this world can give you. Allow it to fill you up and notice as it starts to fill all those holes, all those empty spaces that you've been trying to avoid or maybe fill with the wrong thing. Notice how God can enter ever so gently and fill it up, making you feel joyous, allowing you to feel peace and bliss. God's love does not create anxiety or tension. God's love is not here to shame you or belittle you. God's love is here to welcome you into the kingdom, to remind you of your inheritance, to remind you of the Father that you have, of the blessing that you are in this world. Allow God to be your mirror today. Allow yourself to see all that God sees in you. Allow yourself to let go. Let go and allow God to enter deep within. Take another deep breath, really inhaling nice and big. And as you exhale, really let it all go. Allow yourself to enter into a deeper state of meditation. Allow yourself to commune with God in this moment by just feeling his energy just feeling his love and his connection to you. No need to think, no need to attach, no need to reason or understand. Allow yourself to just know that deep within God lives within you and that you have the same beautiful energy to share with others. Be the light he wishes you to be. Allow others to see God in you so they can believe. You know that God is real. You know that God lives within you. Now walk with God. Walk in that faith. Trust. Don't doubt. Allow yourself to live at that frequency, the highest frequency of all each day walking in love, each day walking in gratitude. You are a walking, living, breathing manifestation of God. You are so perfect. You are so loved. You are so worthy. You are a gift to this world, but we must believe it. We must feel it so that we can truly become it. Take a deep inhale, really fill up the belly nice and big. And then slow exhale. I want you to bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Feel the heart beating. Feel the belly expanding as you breathe. Allow the heart to remind you of your purpose. Allow the beating to remind you of God always there with you, reminding you that he's here with you. Allow the breath to remind you of the gift that life is. And let's take a moment to really honor ourselves. Take a deep breath, inhale. Hold for two, one, as you find yourself in this deep state. What does God have to tell you? What does God want to show you? What does God want you to feel? Not the mind, but the God in you. 
Let him remind you of all that you are, all that you are meant to become. Allow him to show you the visions that he has for you. Allow him to realign you in purpose so that you can always show up as your highest, most divine self. Repeating after me, I am worthy. I am loved. I am cared for. Always guided. Always protected. I am created in love. I am love. Take a deep breath, inhale. Vocal. <sighs> Releasing the arms. Take a moment to release anything that is not serving to you in this very moment. Remember that each breath is a new life, a new opportunity to switch our perspective, to be reminded in God that God lives in us. You are his child. You are his beloved. You are so special, my friends. And you deserve to see the world as God sees you. Take a slow inhale. Gentle exhale. Observe your breath now. Observe your body. And take a moment to think of the word love. And think of the word God. Combine the two. Not the love that a human can give you, not of the flesh. A frequency higher than any energy we've ever experienced. And now, know that this is God. This is the love that lives in you and the love that can live in and through you. The love that you can become. You are the love that you seek because God created you and lives within you. Take one more deep breath together. Inhale as we affirm this knowing. Exhale, we release it all. Gently bringing your awareness back within, wiggling our fingers and our toes. May peace and love always be with you. Amen, my friends. Love you all so much.